Okay, short uh, thought on Parshas Vayishlach. Um, the Gemara in Yuma tells us that the Avos kept the entire Kola Torah Kula. The Gemara tells us uh, that uh, somehow they intuited the mitzvos and uh, they kept the entire Torah. The Gemara says even mitzvos de Rabbanan were kept by the Avos, and the Gemara gives Avram as an example who performed the mitzvah of Eruv Tafshilin. In this week's parash, we find in Paraglamet Gimel Pasuk Yudches, the Torah tells us, Vayavo Yaakov Sholem Ir Shechem. After the battle with the Sorrow Shal Esav, the confrontation with Esav, Yaakov comes Sholem Ir Shechem. Asher Be'eretz Knan Bevo Mi Padan Aram Vayichan Es Penei Ha'ir. And he encamps. The Pshut Shal Mikro, he encamps around this city. However, Rashi, and developed further by the Medrash, says that it was Erev Shabbos, Haya. And Yaakov Shomer as Shabbos, Yaakov kept Shabbos and was Kovea Tchumen, built a ruve, built, set up an Eruv Tchumen, a boundary Eruv to allow certain travel uh, walking outside of the, uh, the Machane on Shabbos. So it's a very bit of a curiosity, it's very striking that Chazal said of all the mitzvahs de Rabbanon that you have. So Chazal said that the Avos kept the entire Torah, and when it comes to Avram, he kept the mitzvah of Eruv Tavshilin. When it comes to Yaakov, he kept the mitzvah of Eruv Tchumen. What's so special about these Eruvin? Why are these the focus of the mitzvahs de Rabbanon that Chazal said the Avos kept? So when it comes to Avram, very briefly, this is developed in a very, very beautiful Meshach Chachma on this Pasuk. Very, very kedai to take a look at. The Meshach Chachma tells when it comes to Eruv Tavshilin, so one has to study Maseches Beitza, but one knows when it comes to Eruv Tavshilin, really, to go ahead and cook from a Yom Tov to a Shabbos, from Yom Tov to the day after Yom Tov, really should be an Iser Del Rai. So it should be a real, real serious problem. However, the Gemara cites that uh, there's a concept called Hoel. Hoel vi Kloi Orchim Chazile, Hashtanami Chazile, that what allows us to cook from Yom Tov to the day after is Minatora, really, it should be a problem in Iser Del Raisa of Bishel. And Erev Tafshil is not going to lift an Iser Del Raisa. But since if I start preparing heavily, in the back, back recesses of my mind, let's say guests would come. If guests would come, so I would give that food to the guests. I would give it to the guests. So there's a latent in the back of my mind, a, a, a bit of kavana, a bit of das, that maybe there is a use for this food today. And that already then, the preparation therefore could be seen as being for today. It's only Isra Drabana therefore to do so for tomorrow. And Erev Tafshilin lifts that Isra Drabana. Chazal could lift their own Isure Drabana. So the Mesha Chachma says, why Chazal pick Erev Tafshilin as the Mitzvah Drabana that Avram fulfilled? Because we know Avram is the Isha Chesed. Avram was the Machnis Orchim par excellence. And therefore, to highlight this point, so Chazal tells us he fulfilled the Mitzvah Erev Tafshilin. Because Erev Tafshilin, the whole premise, of the mitzvah of Erev Tafshilin is the idea of Orchim coming, of Hachnas' Orchim, and therefore that's the mitzvah that is highlighted by Chazal, that's Avram's mitzvah. What about Yaakov Avinu? So Yaakov built Erev Tchumin. What's the idea over here? So here the Mesh Chachma says, unlike Avram Avinu, Avram's Ohel was open on all four sides. He was the Machnis Orech, he invited everyone. He was the Makare Vesanefesh Asher Asuba Charon par excellence. Yaakov Avinu was different than Avram. Yaakov, you know, unlike Avram, unlike Yitzchak, each one had a son, a Yishmael, an Esau, that was not part of the Shifteka. Comes Yaakov, and now Yaakov, after he disposes of Esau, his entire family is Shalom, he has the 12 Shvatim, he is about to form and build Knesset Yisrael. Sometimes is a time to go ahead and be wide open, have the doors open, that have to do the Erev Tafshim, which is built on Orchim. And sometimes we have to close the ranks. Yaakov's mission at this point in history, there was no longer a mission of Kiruv, of bringing others in, of spreading monotheism. Avram took care of that. Now he had the Shvatim, he had his sons, and the task was to now shelter those sons, to shelter the world around them, to build Chumen, to create boundaries by which he could raise these children, he could raise them in the Derech Hashem, the Derech HaTorah, impart to these children the values he had to do so, and therefore the role of Chumen. We live in a very complex society. Sometimes the role is to open up, to do kiv, to go out and be the Avrams. And sometimes we have to close ourselves in, we have to protect our families, we have to protect our unique culture. And in a world that is very, very challenging to us, the culture and the secular world out there, which is very invasive and, per and permeates and pervades every aspect of our existence, whether it's in our, inside our homes, our computers, our televisions. So at some point there's a crucial obligation of making tchumen, 
in modern parlance, I might say filtering, to create a certain filtration to limit that which penetrates. This is the assault of Yaakov at this point in time. It's tchumen that have to be created. This is perhaps what we say in our davening, that Avram Yagel Yitzhak Yirane Yaakov Uvanov Yanuchubo. That now it's Yaakov Uvanov, it's the family of Yaakov, it's the time now to protect, to nurture, to create those boundaries, and that's what's going to give Knesset Yisrael that ability to go ahead and meet the challenges ahead as they go down to Mitzrayim, as they go into Golis. It's because the Tchumen that are created by Yaakov, and perhaps that's why this is the mitzvah, says the Meshach Chachma, that was the mitzvah that Yaakov cleaves to, not Erev Tafshilin, built on Orchim, but now it's time for boundaries for Erev Tchumen.